Okay, today we're going to cover the alternate segment theorem. So basically, alternate segment theorem is a circle theorem. So it involves a circle, okay, and a tangent to the circle. Okay, in this case, right, the line CD is tangent to the circle at T. Then here we see that there's a triangle there, triangle TAB. Basically, the alternate segment theorem works like this, all right? So I have an angle BAT. Alternate, by the alternate segment theorem, okay, usually I count like this, uh, okay, uh, one, two, okay, I am outside of the triangle already, I show you, one, okay, this angle here inside the triangle, two, I'm outside of the triangle, this angle here, so I can say this by the alternate segment theorem, Angle BAT is equals to angle BTC. And in a nutshell, that is the alternate segment theorem. I give you another one or two more examples okay, of the alternate segment theorem to give you a better feel of it in different orientations as well. So now if we look at this circle now, alright, now if I had chosen this angle, okay, angle ABT. Remember just now I told you about counting 1 and 2. If 1 and 2, it cannot uh, go out the circle. So we always hit towards the tangent. So from the angle down here, we hit towards the tangent. 1, then we continue going. Because we have been going this way, we continue to go out of the circle. 2. So by alternate segment theorem, Okay, angle ABT is equal to angle ATD. All right. Okay, now I shall give you an example where the tangent is in another orientation. So let me choose this angle now, angle ABT. Using the alternate segment theorem, can you identify which other angle is equal to angle ABT? So here we have angle ABT. So remember from the angle you hit towards the tangent. So you count one and continue going out is two. So in this case, by alternate segment theorem, angle ABT is equals to angle ATD. Alright, this is the alternate segment theorem. Okay, let me label the angle there for you. Okay, only works right if there's a tangent to the circle down there. Let me give you one more example. In fact, two more examples. Okay, in this case, we have this triangle again, ABT. Let me choose angle BAT. I pause for a moment. Can you identify which other angle is equal to angle BAT using the alternate segment theorem? And if you count from A, we hit towards the tangent. So it's one, okay, going the same direction, we go out two. So it's one, two. This angle is equals to BAT. So angle BTD is equals to angle BAT. Now we do one more example down here. If I had chosen this angle, angle BAT, which angle is equals to angle BAT? We count one. 2. Angle BTC is equals to angle BAT using the alternate segment theorem. Just look through the videos again to see if you can identify which angles are equal using the alternate segment theorem. Thank you for watching.